it's like so scary outside and I don't know if any of you guys remember the category 5 tornado that happened in Tuscaloosa, Alabama like gosh I feel like it was like eight years ago at this point but Taylor and I were in that tornado I, I, we didn't get physically touched by the tornado but we were like a few streets over from where it hit and I'm having like I always have PTSD when any sort of tornado thing happens Shay, what do you got? <laughs> so that tornado like situation yesterday actually didn't end up being that bad. I just get like super anxious when there's like any sort of like tornado situation happening because like I mentioned, we were in the Tuscaloosa tornado and it was just really scary and it happened so fast and we were very lucky that nothing happened to us, but a lot happened to some other people, so it's just scary, but um, yeah, so it just like went by pretty fast. I was just being a little dramatic, I think. You climbing up the stairs. So we've just been working, it's Friday, we've just been working. Shay is obviously home with us on Fridays, as you guys know. We've been hanging out, we watched Miss Rachel for a little bit, but now I'm trying to do like no TV time, which, you know, entertaining a toddler without any TV or whatever is just, it's constant moving, I guess, but it's good for her, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're back doing this again. <laughs> Woo! Yay! So I got quite a bit in that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I will of course share with you what I did with my organization for her toys, but I did want to mention these pegs that I bought for the bottom of the Besta. It raised it up too much. So like that's what they're supposed to look like. But it raised it up too much um, where the couch is. Let me just go show you, hold on. Ignore the mess, obviously Shay has been playing, so this is what you get. But anyway, so these were gonna be underneath and it raised it up too much, so there was like a gap of like this much at the top. And I really did just want it to be like flat against the couch. But you guys, what's driving me really crazy, like really crazy is this gap right here. This is kind of like a traditional arm situation for this couch this couch is really really old this was the first couch that taylor and i bought together so now my obsession like full-blown obsession is i want a new couch don't tell taylor that so i'm gonna try and find one um that has like a straight edge so it just looks like seamless against the couch um but yeah like i said i'll show you guys kind of more of the organization like in detail in a different video but i feel really good organized here and organized here I'll give you a sneak peek. We were playing with Play-Doh today, so that is out. But yeah, we just have everything organized, which is so great. But in any case, I have to return these pegs because we do not need them anymore. So they will be going like back. And then I did get a new lamp shade for one of my lamps in the den area. I just really want to make that like, we call it like the den or like the informal living room feel more elevated just because we do spend so much time. Literally we spend like every night, every day just in there. So I want it to be, I want it to feel nice. Um, so I did get a new lampshade. So I'll put that together soon, probably on this video. I feel like this new lampshade makes this lamp look much more expensive and much more interesting. What do you guys think? And then I got a bunch of clothes in, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. I'm gonna do a full shopping haul just to share like what I got in, but it's of course lots of neutrals, lots of cozy, super, super cozy textures. This is from Cezanne. 
and all that's from Koss. I really want to show you guys this really quickly because it is so cool. It's this like Chanel, Chanel, I'm going to say that wrong, like bolero jacket. And it's not like an everyday wear type thing, but I just think it's like the texture of it is so, so cool. So I really wanted to style this. And it's like really, really soft. So I'm excited about that. And this is actually a partnership, but you guys know I love sweaters, so I will wear this anyway. Um, but I will share all this. I'm gonna do a, like a, like I said, a shopping haul video where I'll try all this stuff on for you guys. I have a few other pieces coming in. And yeah, that's it. I am so excited because I am finally making some progress on more organizational type things around the house. I actually just rearranged my kitchen area and I'm feeling so invigorated and so motivated. So I actually just ordered a bunch of spice drawer or spice cabinet organization from The Neat Method. It's been sitting in my <laughs> entryway for like a few days now, but I'm like finally reinvigorated to get to this. So I'm hoping once I pick up Shay in a few minutes, I can do a little bit of it tonight and then finish it off in the next few days or so. But I'm just really excited because this is what it looks like now. Let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like now, which it's always looked like this. Ever since being an adult, all of my spice cabinets have looked like this. And it's not, I mean, you guys know those of you who have cabinets like this, trying to find a spice that's like in the back of all this stuff is kind of annoying. And you think you have something and you don't, or maybe you buy more than one because you don't know you do have it. It's just one of those things where it's like not a huge, like urgent thing to organize, but like, man, your life would be easier once it is organized. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put my most used spices here. Um, I have a little turntable thing, which I'll put here to just organize some of these like olive oils and um, other just liquid type seasonings. And then I'll put some not, not used as much spices up there because Taylor and I do cook a lot. So we have a bunch of random spices that we don't use often, but we keep because we do use them every now and then. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Hey guys, man, it has been a minute since I've been on my vlog camera, like the Canon G7X camera for YouTube. I have been, and I wanna hear like your guys' thoughts on this because I feel like a chicken running with her head caught up, cut off right now. I've been really into TikTok lately, so if you don't follow me, go follow me on TikTok, but it's just so easy. Like the ease of posting there is like, you just take some content, edit it quickly, and then post it there and not even have to worry about the aesthetics really, if it fits in with your other posts. Um, and then there's no like long editing process. It's just so quick. So I've just been spending so much time there that I just like haven't picked up this vlog for YouTube in so long, but I still love YouTube so much because I feel like I can talk a little bit longer. It's, it's more long form, of course, than you guys know TikTok is. I don't have to explain that to you. But my question for you is, those of you who are active on social media, are you posting to all of these different platforms? <laughs> like, I'm almost like, okay, so I used to be only on Instagram, and then I decided to do YouTube because it seemed more in line with just like the community that I wanna build. Now TikTok's here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry. My whole family's been sick and I'm, I feel my body's like trying not to get sick, so it's like, there's a scratch in my throat, but, now TikTok's here and I'm like, it's a combination of Instagram and YouTube for me. That's like how I view it. So I'm like, okay. So now I'm doing content there, which I'm excited about. So I'm like starting to post and put a lot of attention there, but I'm like, but I can't forget about my other phone. <laughs> how do you guys manage that? Because I also have a full-time job and I'm supposed to be doing partnerships 
but I haven't even accepted any of those because I've just been like, I said, like a chicken with their head cut off. I haven't even responded to any of my emails in like two weeks maybe, which is really bad. I'm sorry. That's on me. Anyways, I don't, just how do you guys do that? I feel like it's just starting to become kind of a lot and it's so fun at the same time, but I'm like, should I just be focusing on like one platform? I feel like the world's gonna say you need to be on all of them and you need to just post random stuff, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm a little overwhhelmed. Hey guys, I'm about to head to the flower store, but I just, and I apologize, my voice is kind of like raspy because I just am kind of recovering from a cold that I had this weekend. Um, but I had to show you guys this because I just opened it and I'm like, geeking out a little bit because i'm like super excited about these one of my friends who's also a creator on youtube instagram tiktok all the things is he just creates really good content it's very quality it's always top notch like he keeps his brand high if that makes sense and i just like really appreciate that from a creator's perspective uh, but he also has really good style so if you're a guy looking for like style and inspiration and which brands to look for i feel like he is a great representation of that. But in addition to having really good men's style, he actually has created, I think this is his second line of handbags that he's created and they are so stunning. One in particular, I've been actually like needing a bag like this. And so I really wanted to show you guys in case you were interested in looking for a similar bag. So let me show you guys one second. Okay, so here are the bags. So he has these two available. They're limited edition his bags last year already sold out but these ones i'm sure will sell out quickly if haven't already I'll, I'll link them below if they're still available but what i really love about this one first this is the one that i wanted to show you guys because it's like literally everything i've been looking for in a bag but this one is also really cool because number one i already have his old one was similar a little bit different than this one but in black but he's come out with this like beautiful chocolate brown almost black color which you guys know I've been really into like warm tone browns lately. So it's, I just haven't really like upped my bag collection to be able to find bags to go with all of my outfits. So this one I'm really excited about. And I just, before I go on to mention, these are unisex bags. He does keep in mind like anybody and everyone can wear these. So if you're a guy, like this would be good for men as well. This one in particular, the crossbody, I feel like is like the perfect man bag if you're looking for something just like a daily wear i feel like this is such a great one you guys i have been like scouring the internet recently to find a really good tote bag that can like almost use more like a utilitarian bag where i can fit my laptop fit anything that shane needs something that's more of like a holds more but still looks good on your arm type bag like even at the airport i've just been like kind of striking out unless all the bags that I've been looking at have been like a thousand dollars plus the one that I really really want is like three thousand dollars which that is an investment piece that I have not quite been able to prioritize because there's just so many things that we want to do to our house but this bag comes at a really good price point I think it retails for I want to say five hundred dollars which is you guys if you have this bag in person I feel like it's could definitely be char like you can definitely pay more for something like this. So this is how big it is. It's like an actual tote bag. So if you're somebody who like wa walks to work or takes your laptop to a coffee shop or something like that, this is where my mind goes because that's the kind of bag that I've been looking for. I just feel like this bag is so so perfect for that. I feel like the light's coming in harsh, so sorry if it's kind of dark. It comes with a strap that you can put on it. Here, let me put it on really quick. So the strap, you can just put it over your shoulder. So if you have something that's really heavy and you just wanna like throw it over your shoulder, um, or I mean even crossbody, I feel like you could do too. It's just like a really cute everyday throw all your stuff and go bag. Okay, so I got a little distracted by opening these bags. I was gonna go to the groceries. I mean, I was gonna go to the flower store, but now I need to get a little bit of work done because a few things came in that are a little bit time sensitive. After I get those done, then let's go get some new flowers. I really need to find, you know, like the um, cherry blossom stems that I get every year. They're in stock now, they're in season. So I'm hoping that my place has them so I can change these like more fallish branches into something more spring floral so we'll see about that
So the beauty of these, when my camera is about to die, is these buds are going to bloom so big very soon, probably in like a week or so. And I just think they're so pretty. They're like kind of Valentine's-ish. So I'm gonna make a little bouquet and yeah, I can't wait. I am gonna end this vlog here, but I actually quickly wanted to show you the outcome of my um, little kitchen spice cabinet reorganization situation that I've been working on. I'm so excited about it. You know when you like organize something or just like get something looking the way you want it to look and then all you wanna do is stare at that place because it's finally how you want it. <laughs> I feel like this is like that moment for me in the spice cabinet, so let me show you that. All right, are you guys ready for the reveal? Look at that organization. Like truly, this is what dreams are made of. I swear, watching people organize on TikTok and YouTube and all that has just made me obsessed. But I think I mentioned, these are all from Neat Method. So like these risers and all of these um, beautiful spice jars are all from Neat Method, which you guys know I love Neat Method because I did my pantry with them, which <laughs> I can show you guys my pantry just if you wanted to see like the difference if you haven't seen my other video. Um, it's really messy right now. I didn't keep it. I need to go in there and like reorganize everything. But once you get it clean, I guess keeping it clean is the other thing. But doesn't this look so like uncluttered and just the thought of being able to reach into your spice jar and knowing where everything is, is foreign to me because I've just had things just jumbled up there for so long. So yeah, it's really cool. So I'll link these um, products below. I actually did get from Neat Method, they sell these also, but the, the smallest size that I had ordered from them didn't fit my shelf, so I'm gonna use it somewhere else, probably in my bathroom for my skincare. I'll put it in, like put it away in my um, closet, so, which will make it easier to get all to my skincare, and then Shay can't get it out of the drawer, so I think that's what we're gonna use, but the, these ones, the smaller ones, are from Amazon, so I like overnighted these so that I can finish could finish this project because the one from Meat Method didn't fit. But yeah, look how cute. Hobbs, do you need to go potty bed? This is not cleaned. I did not plan on showing you guys this, so please ignore the mess. <laughs> um, I did just go grocery shopping yesterday and just threw all that stuff there. But really, these bags, I need to clean this. Um, there's just like time to clean. But these bags are supposed to go in that. So whenever I get the motivation to get it back together, that's what I'll do. And then I just need to straighten up and restock all my snacks because I do have a back stock, what's it called, bin there that has all of those snacks. So I just need to refill those and straighten that up. And yeah, but these are all from Neat Method also. And I just think they're so beautiful. The I think it's called Acadia or, a, I'm gonna say it wrong, but it's like their wood top glass bins and they're just so pretty so yeah these are the large size and then i also have i believe this is the small size um so you can just you know get whatever one works for you but i just really liked the prettiness of it so yeah and then all of these are from neat method as well and same with these bins down here so cool Anyways, as mentioned, I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I'm sure I'll see you guys on my next video.